Hi, I'm McKenna. I'm 5'9", 127 pounds, a Taurus, and what's popularly known as a light skin. I grew up in Seattle in a predominantly white environment, so it's always been easy to acknowledge how I was different from my peers. There was never a point in my life where I felt included or accepted by the majority, and because I went to white Catholic private schools, I never felt accepted by the minority either. When I began modeling, even though I was only five, I felt like I had joined this sorority of gorgeous people. It was the best moment of my life, but it also began to be the worst. I started comparing myself to my white counterparts, while never praising my own beauty, because I never really saw that kind of representation in the media. So this led me to feel like I needed to water down my blackness. I refused to go in the sun because I didn't want to get any darker. Then I began straightening, texturizing, relaxing, and bleaching my hair. I just wanted to look like my friends. Finally, I started going on extreme diets to get rid of any curves. I even hated my butt, which side note, I now love. I just didn't want to be black anymore. I just wanted to be accepted. It's important to remember that it was a different time in society when I was coming up in this industry. So diversity wasn't a priority. And I don't believe I truly saw a shift in the industry until about five years ago. Generally, society is much more accepting today. For me, it's crazy to see an entire campaign full of black models. It speaks volumes for how far we've come as black people, but also as a society. It's so important for all the little girls out there to be able to look online or in magazines and see someone who looks like them praised for their beauty. Today's generation is so lucky to have so many people fighting for equal representation. I truly believe that every girl, no matter what color, should be able to be herself and feel beautiful and not feel compelled to change just to fit society's standard. In the end, it's all about the beauty that comes from the heart. The physical beauty always fades, but what's inside is what's most important.